Welcome back, everybody. <sighs> Car chop life. I know. It's been a while. I'm on cat release, really uh, slowing things down. Sorry, everybody. I'm back, kind of behind. I think this video is filmed, by the time you guys watch, it's probably going to be like 7 to 10 days delayed. All our really nice black and silver chairs have finally arrived, so uh, I think they're really, really cool. It's uh, the typical plastic style. Uh, kind of the thing I wanted to point out, though, was unlike a lot of other places, you know, these are the non... These are the non-cloth chairs. Uh, one of the things I'm trying to go out of my way to maybe fix or avoid or something is the comment that everyone makes about how card shops always like smell funny and they're kind of blah, maybe-ish. Hint, hint, people smell funny. So I think what causes it is because I think it's a combination of card stores not being maybe fully sanitized properly, but also because the chairs are fabric and they hold scent. So I'm going to be able to focus and clean things pretty good. Uh, next thing, a lot of our things are all built now. Um, displays and everything. Tables, it's a mess. Uh, like I said, this is kind of a delayed video. Almost all of our cases and things are built. We're getting there. Almost. We still have some more slat walls to put up, as you can see. As you can see. But we, we're getting there. So we finally got a lot of the slat wall and the things done. It, slat wall is a pain to put up. I'm not even going to sugarcoat it for you guys. It's, I got the plastic shells with the bull nose edging, as they call it, and the brackets kind of hook. Like, you see the little hook right there? So the brackets hook on the shells so they don't fall off. So even if someone's dumb or tries to pull it, they kind of lock. Um, they're also lightweight to help reduce the weight. Now, I got the more expensive anchor core slat walls, which are actually a thicker. They're almost 100 pounds a panel. Yes, everybody's right. Go ahead. Make fun of Rudy. Everybody was right. No drywall anchors. We ended up going with the hardcore, super mega, um, huge metal screws into the metal framing of the building. You guys in the comment section, there was like five or six of you guys who commented on only like older card shop lights. Totally right. 100 flipping percent. You guys completely called it. So I wanted to point that out. Pain to put up. So I like the shelves. They're cool. They're plastic. They're easily, easily, oh God, I can't talk, easily able to be cleaned and sanitized. Um, I think the slat wall turned out nice. It's super solid. So I think that looks pretty sweet. It actually has a good solid feel. Like you really can't, nothing, you can barely, if you push it really hard. So I thought that was cool. Um, a lot of people are going to ask me, oh, why is my focus messing up lately? A lot of people are going to ask me about the, the prices. The slat wall panels cost me like 60 bucks a piece, and I got the brackets. I got these nice black polished brackets in bulk. They were like 30 cents a bracket, so I bought like 300 of them just to have extra because I'm putting three brackets per shelf instead of one on each end because people say over time the middle of the shelf will kind of droop from the weight, so I did a third bracket. So that's something I kind of wanted to avoid in the future. Uh, the other thing I wanted to comment on is the shelf itself. I got it in bulk, so I think I bought 100 shelves. And I think it only came out to be like $11 a shelf, or actually maybe $9 a shelf. It was really, really cheap. So that's it for the slot wall. It's done. Good Lord, it was a mess. Um, so yeah, I told you guys about the Dragon Ball Z. You kind of <laughs> made some comments. Up. Um, so I think I'm like the, the largest supply person of Dragon Ball Z single retail display packs like ever. Uh, I know the guys at DA Card World watch me on this, so uh, thank you to you guys. Uh, pretty much bought them out. Uh, I think I paid $0.24 cents a booster pack. Times, I have no idea. I don't, I don't even know. Times thousands of packs I paid. So I think I ended up paying like a couple hundred dollars maybe. Maybe three, three, four hundred dollars or something. I bought thousands of packs. So, <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was kind of cool. Who knows, right? 99 cent booster packs, 49 cent booster packs, free with every purchase. I don't know. We'll come up with something crazy. Or we'll just charge $100 a piece. That's what we'll do. Um, we finally got some tables and things set up. So we'll zoom back out here, let everybody look. I'm um, starting to bring in some magic products, some booster boxes, 
some older booster boxes so people can buy some packs and different things like that. We got some things, we're kind of just trying to set some things up. So we got a lot of empty stuff here just so we can kind of gauge the, the, the kind of the distance. So we want to lay some things out to kind of get an idea. So like I said, that's why these are all open. We wanted to try to figure out the height for everything and how many shelves they were actually going to do. Can you guys even see up there? Or is it too bright? So, uh, so the cases. So also finally getting all these flipping display cases built. Oh my God. Not hard, but good Lord, it's a pain in the butt. Each one takes about an hour to do. The 70 inch ones, the really big ones. We got seven. There's one, two, three, four. So we got three left to do. We got that front area to do and finishing up and the slat walls in the front area also still to do. Um, we got a lot of the middle things done. As you see, a lot of these, we just threw some random crap on them just to get it off the floor. Uh, still have the extra carpet. Still have more. Those are some damaged stuff that was replaced. Uh, the back area, starting to get all this. We finally starting to bring some other stuff in from the other locations. Uh, yeah, there's a shit ton of Pokemon stuff over here, guys. I'm not even going to downplay it to you all. There's a ton of flipping. I think these are the new ones, too. I think some of these are the... I haven't even done any videos on this new stuff. A lot of people have been asking, Rudy, what are the Pokemon videos? There's like a ton of new Pokemon boxes. Um, yeah. So we got a bunch of these Pokemon boxes. Um, I think the Volcanion, I think some of these are the newer ones. I think, because these are all the GX ones. Which should have Sun and Moon, but no Guardians Rising. Yeah. And even the blue ones. We got some older ones, too. Did you guys see that? For Pokemon fans out there. God, why does it keep getting bright to dark? Do you guys notice that? Is that better? Can you see? Look at the glare. Ah, there we go. There we go. Yeah, we got some older ones. Check that shit out. Look, Furious Fist. What is that? XY, I think it's XY. What, Phantom Forces down there? I can't tell. Yep, Phantom Forces. I think it's another Phantom Forces. So we got some older ones, too, that are kind of slipped in between there. thought that was kind of cool. Random tins. I'm not really a huge fan of the tins, guys. I'm, I'm just not... I don't know. Uh, infamous Keldeo, the old Rayquaul. Keldeo versus Zelda Rayquaza. Yeah, Rayquaza, Rayquaza, whatever you want to call it. We got a bunch of those. There's like piled up. Anybody happen to notice? Check this out. I think this is kind of weird. We're going to put... Here, let's uh, let's take one. I want to show you guys this. Does anybody else notice this? Let's see if we can... So, I guess the different versions. This is like a soft matte finish. This is like a polished shiny finish. Did you guys notice that they've been changing? The po Pokemon's been like dabbling with different versions. Can you see? I don't know if this is even going to be possible. You guys notice how shiny that is? Notice how it's like a flat colored? I thought that was really weird. I thought it's kind of strange that they would change the packaging on the printing. Because some other people made comments to me. About, somebody bought some from me and made a comment about which version they wanted. I don't know if the cards are any different. But I found it really weirdly really strange. Like even the back. If you look at the back. Let me see if I can get the lighting right. Can you guys tell? See how shiny and polished that looks? And then see how that, there's no shine to that? It's a very flat color. They don't, they're not the same. Anyways, I don't know if anyone's noticed that. I want to point that out. Someone, somebody who bought some from me locally made a comment about that. And I thought it was a really, uh, really caught me off guard. So, uh, speaker, gotta have some music. Kind of some, what do you guys think? Frank Sinatra in a card shop? Come on, Dean Martin in a card shop? Old school? Anybody? I think, is anybody old enough to even remember that stuff? I bet Tolarian, he's the only one who's old enough that probably listens to that stuff with me. Everybody else is like, Rudy, who the hell are these people you're talking about? So <laughs> he's probably cracking up right now. All right. So yeah, we got a bunch of these new things. I think that's another, it's still an EX one, but this is one of the newer ones. Oh, God. can you guys? Uh, uh. All right. We got one. We got one. Again, newer one, but not new enough for there's like sun and moon in it. Um, I'm sorry, not sun and moon. No sun and moon guardians rising. And this, I believe, oh, look at the promo card. It fell out. Yeah, Steam Siege, Double Evolution, Steam Siege promos. So, anywho, that's uh, a bunch of the Pokemon stuff setting up. That's that stuff setting up. We finally got that. Holy crap, it's been ridiculous. Uh, we did not work or do anything for a couple days because we were focused on everything else with the uh, Amon Ket and doing massive box openings. So, we didn't do anything further besides that. And, again, this video is, like I said, sorry, guys. I've been a little delayed, so you guys are going like, to lose a week. So this video, by the time you see it, it's probably going to be 7 to 10 days old anyways. But at least gives you an idea of where we're at. So the next video, obviously, everything's going to be finished. Probably have all the shelves fully stocked. Um, I thought it's pretty cool. I hope you guys like everything. I just wanted to give you guys the update. And um, check out the front area. Oh, we got the fan mail wall going. Did I show you guys? I don't think I showed anybody that. I don't think we showed anybody. Woo! Can you see? 
We got the fan mail wall. Look at all you guys sending me stuff. Is anybody still watching? Look at this. Rudy. Hello from Minnesota. Hashtag frozen floppy taco from the Iceland. Dude, it's a hundred something degrees already in Florida. We got a frozen floppy taco, everybody. Look at this. One of my old original patrons. Look at him. Michigan. Hey, Ryan. What's up, big guy? You didn't think I saved this from a year ago almost on the channel, huh? Now look what happened. There's an actual card shop. And I even got people from overseas. Check that out. I got some Europe. Boop. We got the gayest cradle. We got some other stuff we'll go over in some other videos, but I just want to show that in the meantime. We even have the fake ancestral recall. You guys remember this from the fake video? I know, right? Because Rudy, the investor. That's on a magic card. Anyways, just want to show that. We'll go through all the fan mail a little bit by each video, but I want to at least show you guys. I thought it was really, really sweet. And uh, that's all I got. Like I said, if you guys have fan mail or anything else you want to send in, like I said, definitely. We'll add it to the wall. You're going to get on the, uh, the channel. And uh, that's about all I have for this card shop life. Um, I did notice one thing. I think I'm already sold out of everything. I think the only thing I'm not sold out of... Oh, that's right. We've got one item left in stock, if anyone's interested. It is a... Looks like a counterfeit guy's cradle. Yep, from the other video. It's the only thing left in stock in this terrible, terrible card shop. You guys have a great day.